beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see that it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into god's presence We're beginning a series on faith and I really want us to pay attention and trust the Lord to bless us. Praise the Lord. The series will last all through the month and um, the goal of this course is to help us understand for some of us for the first time you'll be realizing how faith truly works and then for many of us it will be a reaffirmation and an upgrade on our understanding of faith. Hallelujah. It's important once and again that we remind ourselves of these principles upon which results are produced in the kingdom. It says, I will not be negligent to put you in remembrance of these things, although ye already know them and are established in this present truth. There are basically three aspects. Let's put the, I'll call it the course content. Just put it down quickly. Just three of them. Number one, we're going to be looking at the character of the word of God slash discerning the will of God. The character of the word of God slash discerning the will of God. That's what we'll be looking at today. And then next week, we are going to be looking at the dynamics of faith. The dynamics of faith. We're going to be looking at the inner workings, how it really works. And then finally, sustainable faith. Sustainable faith. Faith that can take you from prophecy to manifestation. Part of the things we're going to be um, explaining are what I call faith boosters. The keys that keep your faith alive and powerful. We're going to be considering certain mysteries like the power of your seed in keeping your faith alive, the power of praise, the power of thanksgiving, the power of partnership. The Bible says, if any two shall agree together as touching anything. So it's going to be an interesting series. Let's go straight to the business of the night. Why faith? Why do we need faith in our lives? The Bible clearly tells us how that our walk is a faith walk from Genesis right to Revelation. We see that all those who were able to command results in their generation did so by faith. We are going to Hebrews shortly. But before that, I want us to look at two scriptures. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Why faith? Why do we need to talk on the subject of faith? Can you help us media? That is possible. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. The B part is my verse of emphasis. And let's walk with King James. It says, Behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Read on the B part. Want to read. But the just shall live by his faith. So the subject of faith it's not just a subject of prosperity or breakthrough that you're living both in terms of the continuity of your breath and the quality of your life according to scripture four times interestingly in the bible four times the bible emphasizes that the just shall live by his faith we'll just look at two scriptures this is one habakkuk chapter two it says but the just shall live by in fact, he didn't just say faith. He said his faith. His faith. So we see that faith is necessary for both living 
and living victoriously you may want to write that down faith is necessary for both living and living victoriously you cannot live a victorious life in this kingdom outside of the operation of faith Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 there are four but we'll just look at one for the sake of time let's do that quickly please Hebrews 10 38 just the a part it says now the just when will the just live by faith when will he live by faith it says now the just shall live by faith then it says but if any man draw back back to what back from this principle of living it says my soul shall have no pleasure in him a very classical rendition of this was given to us in hebrews chapter 11 we're going to read it further when we read verse 6 the bible tells us just give us verse 6 but we'll later on start verse 1 hebrews 11 chapter and verse 6 please help us i like you to read it is projected one to read but without faith uh-huh stop that's what i want you to see it was buttressing on hebrews 10 38 that if any man draws back my soul will not have pleasure in him so it says but without faith that means outside of faith it is impossible to please god hallelujah so we see that the entire life of a believer revolves around faith. Now many of us have had this teaching faith. We've had pastors. Some of us have taught it ourselves. But I think it's very important for us to settle down and really understand what faith is and how it works. We call all kinds of people men of faith. This person is a man of faith. What exactly is faith and how does it work? Seeing that the quality of our lives on earth is dependent on our understanding. Now listen please, not our application of faith alone, but our understanding of the same. You can apply something wrongly, dissipate so much energy, but it does not mean you are producing results. How many of you have seen cars that the exhaust has busted and I mean you hear the car coming so loud like a truck, you think it's a truck running without brake. And then you see a little bike or a little car. That's how many people's destinies are. There's a lot of noise. And then when you look, you find out that there's absolutely nothing. But there are cars that would even come and park you, you would not even know. That's cars that came intentionally. I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way to paradise. Prophesy to yourself. Yes, I'm on my way to paradise. No matter what I see around me now, I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way. So why faith? Hebrews chapter 11. It will be a long reading. It's an archive of men and women who demonstrated unto us the reality of faith. Let's read it. Please pay attention. We are studying the word of God tonight. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Verse 2. It says, For by it, the elders obtain what? A good report. Next verse. True faith 
we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Now watch this. The Bible starts, we see certain formations happening. The Bible gives us a character of faith. Then we see certain people mentioned called elders. Are we together? Then we see a formation that faith is able to form realities. And then we see the word of God coming into the picture. Now, I want you to study how these realities begin to piece themselves. Faith, substance, evidence, report or results. Are we together? Understanding the word of God. You see these things piecing up together. Then the Bible says, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Verse 4. Let's see how far we can go. Now, the first character in the Bible, the Bible calls them elders. Interestingly, the first elder in the Bible is called who? Not Adam. Not Cain. <laughs> this, is, this is a teaching on its own, I'm telling you. I like enjoying myself when I talk about these things. Believe you me, I plan to do same this night. By faith, Abel did what? Offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice by faith than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. So by faith, a man offered unto God a what? More excellent sacrifice. Is it not interesting that the first thing God uses to describe faith is giving? We are going to lions, but the Bible talks of offering a more excellent sacrifice. It takes faith to be a giver. Cain gave, but he was a miser. And God said the reason why he mised was he did not have faith. Are we together? It was out of faith that Abel took sacrifice as though that was all he had and gave unto God. Meaning greed. Listen. Selfishness of all sorts is traceable to what? Lack of faith. That at any point in a man's life, he's a withholder and not a giver. I don't mean money. A giver of anything. It is because of fear of the continuity of the supply. And the Bible says it's lack of faith. Number two, five. By faith, the second elder we see in the Bible is who? Now, Enoch was the seventh man from creation, theologically speaking. Enoch was the seventh man from creation. And then from Abel, he just jumps to Enoch and says, by faith, Enoch was what? Translated. 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 Kabarato satire. By faith, a man can live a level to another. By faith. I know this is talking of translation out of this realm, but you need to understand what this meant. Enoch translated from one territory to another by faith. Like a man can leave poverty to wealth. Like a man can leave sickness. It says if you want to experience translation, it will happen how? By faith. That he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had a testimony. Notice how pleasing God is tied to faith. It seems like God's obsession is not just praise and worship. God's obsession is that he can find men who have faith in him. Every time you see the manifestation of faith, you see God smiling. The Bible gives you a picture that he's happy. He's well pleased. Number three. And without faith, it is what? Impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe. That he is. The word is there means he exists. He exists. And then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hear what the Bible says. For everyone that seeketh findeth. It's important we get this foundation. Seven. Let's see how far we'll go. By faith, 
Noah comes in now. Noah, Kalabakotaya. Be warned of God of things not seen as yet. When God was warning Noah, there was no evidence that those things were coming. The same way God is saying you will prosper and there is no evidence. But Noah moved in advance. He didn't wait to say, let me see a cloud first. He started building the ark when the sun was shining bright and Bible calls it faith. Now, I hope you, those who did mathematics, everybody did mathematics. Whether you like it or not. I'm not asking you whether you passed. I'm saying you did it. Are we together? Now, listen. A good teacher does not give two examples and set examples. No. When they give you, especially a difficult aspect of mathematics, they give you as many examples. And those examples have variations of the way the underlying principles are applied. Is that true? Uh -huh. It's supposed to help you familiarize you with the different ways. This is what the Bible is doing. We're working maths here. Are we together? So the Bible begins to give you different people. Do you know everything the Bible is saying about them is the same? He's only using different human examples to show you different applications. How men maneuvered circumstances by faith. So by faith, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet. Move with fear. The word fear there is reverence. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house. 100 years it took Noah to build an ark. How many years have you waited for your miracle? Let me hear it please. Six months. And you're already saying, Lord, if by November, a man moved by faith for 100 years, how long do you have to live on earth to spend 100 years building an ark? I'm sure the children, when they gave birth to their children, they said, we, we grew up seeing our grandfather. What exactly is this project? And Noah said, the rain will come. And the children said, well, I'm now a teenager. I, I believe the rain will come. And God kept watching and says, it was by faith. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm going to break down faith for you to really understand. And then you will know that many people really do not believe in God. Many of you at the end of this teaching, you will tell God, I'm sorry. Because you will find out that you really should not receive a result. Amen. Next verse. By faith. Now Abraham comes in. I like the Bible. How many people now? Abel, help me. Enoch, uh huh. Noah, Abraham. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was called out to go into a place, that means your destiny must be fulfilled by faith. God called a man. Are you seeing now? So we see by faith to do different things. Translation. Now we're seeing he's talking about destiny here and inheritance. By faith, you are not the first person to graduate and wonder what to do with your life. There was a man in the awe of the Chaldeans, awe of the Chaldeans called Abraham. And the Bible says, when he was called to go out to a place which he should, after receive an inheritance, obeyed. It says, and he went out. Help me please. That's the faith part of it. Not knowing whither he went. Go to Lagos. Yes, Lord. What are you doing in Lagos? Obeying God. You are stupid. God, what do you say? You are a man of faith. Abraham. Don't turn there. Genesis 22. Genesis 12. Come out of your father's house. And out of your kindred. And out of all of these. Listen. To a land that I will show you. No name. The assignment is follow me. And the Bible says Abraham gathered his house and says, Gentlemen, we're off. Let's go. May you surround people in your life who can let you obey God. Yeah. There are times, let me just say this in advance. There are times certain people will love you too much to allow you obey God. Especially for we young people. Because our parents, many of them, even those who were not born again, walked by faith. Are we together? The last time their father saw them, 
was from one they used to call it from one the next time the person came he came with the lady he would marry a master's holder how he survived the father did not know one heavy box and a blessing don't drink don't follow women be hard working the god that kept me keep you enter a boat and go and the father had confidence that the boy would not die after eight years he now came back and said daddy god is faithful i now have a house a car how did it happen by faith but now you see someone of 30 they say i think you should start settling i say mommy i'll take it gently just buy me blanket buy me sugar buy me tea don't laugh we have been so pampered that the system of faith is eroding our minds so whenever we say faith many people just laugh that's the reason why there are very few people who really do much i'm not even talking ministry in the kingdom in our lives this over pampering are we together now auxiliary faith okay uncle i'll take the first step but make sure you are standing by look at what he told peter he said fear not jesus speaking it is i and peter said if it be thou bid me come jesus said come faith faith let's read to verse 10 by faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with isaac and jacob the heirs of him with him of the same promise Uh uh-huh for he looked for a city whose builder and maker is who the lord next verse through faith the first woman now also an elder the first woman through faith sarah herself received what so how do men receive strength in the kingdom you don't receive strength in the kingdom just by eating a good meal although that is important she received strength and conceived seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful now notice that among all these people the common denominator is that they did or said something are we together there was nobody whose testimony was just passive the bible tells us something they did something they said something they did something they said let me say this up front faith is not hearing what god has said faith is fulfilling your own part your own part Let's go to verse 17. I want to jump. Verse 17. Are we together? By faith, Abraham now, when he was tested, did what? Or tried. Offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, In Isaac shall thy seed be called. Sacrifice by faith. Sacrifice by faith. Now the Bible talks of Isaac, Jacob, Joseph. Let's go to 23 and look at Moses. The Bible dwells for, I don't know why, but it seems to me like Moses was a person the Bible dwelt so much in. All of the people who the Bible talked about faith, even Abraham, who we call to be the father of faith, the Bible just spoke about him. But for Moses, the Bible seemed to dwell and talk a lot about Moses, which I found interesting. Let's read on. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was did what? Was he three months of his parents 
because they saw that he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's command you understand the act of faith they put him in a basket and pushed him to the Nile trusting God to take care of him next verse then by faith Moses when he was come to years refused to be called what refused to be called by faith just like you refuse to be called um, any name that seems derogatory, any name that comes from a background that can destroy you. Oh, you are all the poor ones. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? He said by faith, seeing something, he refused. Choosing rather, think about this, to suffer affliction. Listen, there are certain kinds of afflictions that the Bible says you must go through them by faith. It's a choice. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When a lady refuses to say yes to an unbeliever, and instead of marrying two years before that time, now remains single because she refused to say yes to an unbeliever by faith, waiting for a godly man she believes to be her husband. The Bible calls it to suffer affliction. Not every act of faith looks pleasant in the process. In fact, let me tell you something. A major part of the journey of faith will make you look stupid because you are forfeiting, we call it in economics, opportunity cost. You forgo something for the excellency of what is waiting for you. Than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for what? A season. 26. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward and so on and so forth and um, let me look for somewhere now I mean the Bible talks about him right well let's read let's read really let's read down to um, 30 where it goes to Joshua now we're reading down to 30 you see how much a lot was talked about Moses by faith he forsook Egypt not fearing the wrath of the king for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. 28, we are reading down to 30. Through faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed, the destroyer now, the firstborn should touch them. 29, this is the last of the talk about Moses. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do. The Egyptians tried it, but they didn't do it by faith. So they died. Are you seeing now? Now let's talk of the wall of Jericho. Verse 30. By faith, the walls of Jericho did what? Not by strength. By faith. We saw them going around. Walking around Jericho. Are you understanding the character of faith already? Every one of these people did something. Whoever tells you faith happens without your commitment lied to you. I'm showing you all through. The common denominator to all these things is that they believed God and there was a demand on their own part to respond by saying, by doing, by keeping their own part. So their obedience upgraded the promises of God to a covenant. The walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Read 31. By faith, ah, yeah, yeah, the second woman. Look at the name the Bible calls her. Now, this is interesting. Why didn't he just say by faith, Rahab? I think we are smart enough to know. Then he says, by faith, Kalabakata, a woman who was a harlot changed her story. By faith, the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believe not, meaning she was part of them. She was destined to perish. Please, is that true? What is the wages of sin? Help me. What is the wages of sin? That means there is a system in God where men can change prophecy. 
There is a system in God where men can alter obvious consequences. The key is faith. If first tells you her credentials, she was a harlot. Do you know what it means to earn a right to stay on a wall so that whoever is passing sees you before even seeing the king? By faith, she changed her report. Everyone died in Jericho except Rahab. Not only did she not die, she forced herself into the genealogy of Jesus. When she had received the spies with peace. And what more can I say? I really wonder. What more do you need to hear? You, you see, I'm understanding what Paul is saying. Paul is saying, if by now you don't see the synergy, what more can I say? He says, for time would do what? To fail me, to talk of others. There were other elders in the Bible. Let's name them. Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, and of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets. There were many. Next verse. Who did what? Through faith. Subdued kingdoms. Wrought righteousness. Uh -huh. Obtained promises. Stopped the mouths of lions. Next verse. Quench the violence of fire. Look at that. I wonder why Nigerian actors have never acted a film this powerful. Men who did this by faith. Produce a film and call it by faith. Exploits in the spirit. They escaped the edge of the sword. Men who looked at death eyeball to eyeball and said, you will not kill me. And then the Bible now says, out of weakness were made what? Men who were born weak but refused that they will not die weak. Works valiant in fight. Turn to flight the armies of the aliens. Then listen to this. Women receive their dead raised back to life. And then the Bible quickly puts a very strange balance. It says, and others were tortured, not accepting. That means they did not die out of the power of death conquering them. The Bible says they rejected deliverance willingly. They discovered in their knowledge of God that to die is gain. And they said, I can live, but let me prove to God how much I trust him. And they said, it is within my power to command deliverance, but I reject it. Faith. It didn't say they died out of weakness. Please don't confuse this. They died. They had, do you know there are many people today who died? When we get to heaven, they will tell you they were offered an opportunity to leave. But they saw something higher and they said, let's go. The Bible calls it faith. Now, you mourn them and try to look for hilarious stories. But they, has, they have joined those elders. It's a list. It's a roll call. There are many people shortlisting themselves there. It says not accepting deliverance. That they may do what? Obtain a better resurrection. I'm going somewhere with all this. And you will soon see. Next verse. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings. You are not the first to be laughed at. Are we together? Yea, moreover, of bonds and of imprisonment, imprisonment. They were stoned and they were sawn asunder. Now you don't like this. Koinonia is quiet. But the Bible tells you beforehand that these men had the power. They were not helpless. Bible history makes it look like they were helpless. The Bible says they, they had the power to command deliverance. But they saw something higher. And by faith they stood. They were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. Of whom the world, there are such men that the world was not worthy of. 
they walked upon the earth have you been given something that you say is a privilege there are men who they are walking upon the earth is a blessing to the earth the bible says it's a privilege they wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth 39 i want you to read 39 and the next verse i believe verse 40 am i am i right yes 39 and 40 read it with all your heart and your spirit ready one to read and these all uh -huh, having obtained a good report through faith receive not what now read on next verse god having provided some better thing for us that they without us there is a dimension of the manifestation of faith that god is trusting our generation to reveal and the bible calls it the perfection of all these elders as great as their exploits are and were the bible says that god had provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect now theologically speaking there's been two schools of thought just explaining this scripture a lot of people mean this to be the dispensation of grace because you would notice that all the people who were communicated were largely old testament people are we together now and so the better promises that many people think uh they say that it is because these people suffered in the dispensation of the lord the old testament and now we have access to grace the substitutionary work of christ now that is true but i don't believe that is all are we together that is true but the death of christ in itself afforded us a higher platform to manifest faith are we together mm. an example of such opportunities is the possibility to live by the faith of the son of god now this was a possibility they did not experience but that a man can tap into a higher frequency of faith called the faith of the son of god not just your faith the faith of the son of god you can bring god's faith to an operation and get results this is a better promise but that's not what we are talking about i'm showing you men who did strange things through faith and so if you and i must make impact in our generation it will have to be how by faith through faith by faith through faith so how are you going to build that house how are you going to change the story of your family by faith how are you going to get out of that sickness and infirmity please understand what i'm saying there is the chronicles of ordinary men who dare to believe god and change a lot of things so faith is, is is important to please god and we have a testament of men and women who walked by faith the next thing i want us to look at is the word of god let's look at the word of god being that this is the instrument that produces faith it is important for us to look at the character and i'll be very brief the character of the word of god write this down please the word of god whether spoken or written the word of god whether spoken or written contains the life of god the word of god whether whether spoken or written contains the life of god the word of god whether written or spoken contains the life of god number two write it the word of god is a representation of his commitment to man 
The word of God is a representation. I want you to write this. We're looking at the character. A representation of his commitment to man. Like you have a covenant, like you have a contract between two people. So the testament of his commitment to man. Number three. The word of God represents his will for man. Now this is important. We're going to dwell a little here. The word of God represents his will. Comes from the Greek word logos. Where we get the word word. Logos. The thoughts of a man. The will of a man. The intention of a man. So the word of God represents his intention. His will. His will. It's a legal term. His will for man. Number four, the word of God is the basis, the basis for contact with man. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. I'm giving you certain characters of the word of God as far as the manifestation of faith is concerned. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. That means that the Holy Spirit remains helpless until the word of God creates the platform for contact with man. Number five, the word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action. The word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action God is moved to the feelings of our infirmities but not to action the word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action write this down the word of God contains instructions prophecies promises the word of God contains instructions, prophecies, promises. Also contains principles. Are we getting blessed? Now please look up everyone. Please look up. Now, there's been a lot of argument in the body of Christ as to whether this should be called the word of God. The word Bible comes from the word Biblios and that just means a book, nothing special really. It just means a book. Are we together? Now theologically speaking for many years in the church age, they did not have a compendium of 66 books like this. There are other schools of thought that argue how that there are many chapters and verses that are missing in the Bible. There are many chapters and verses that were added that should not have been in the Bible. Are we together now? And how that there are other books of the Bible, like there are arguments about the apocryphal books, the apocrypha, the Roman Catholics use that a lot. And then there are other books, the books of Jasha. There are other books called the Annals of the Kings. There is the book of Enoch. Are we together now? Now, all these books together have been argued by theologians some of them believe that it should be contained since the character of scripture is that all scripture was inspired of god are we together and that anything that is of god should give spirit and life so i'm, I'm just giving you an educational background on this so that you will understand so there has been a lot of argument in fact currently um i know that there was a time certain uh, I think a Rab Rabonical Association also came up with certain things and they felt that a lot should be edited in scripture. Now the Old Testament was written in Hebrew, say Hebrew. And uh, the New Testament was written largely in Greek and Aramaic. Are we together? Now these people wrote these scriptures but they were not in charge of its translation. There's no point to give you the whole story of Bible history, how that this translation were in bits and pieces. Some of these pages were missing for many years and then they were found together with what we call the Dead Sea Scrolls. And then it was at the time of King James. King James. He was a real king, ancient king called King James. 
not ancient like modern history now king james who authorized the publication of a compendium of these 66 books that we call the bible are, are we together now so all the 66 books old and new testament together are called now i'm not the point of all of this is not to create a debate about other extra biblical texts or some exaggerations that were done here that's not the idea one thing we know for sure is this listen every man who contributed in the writing of this was imperfect as a person that means if god allowed them to still rob their imperfection it means the mystery is not in the letters are you getting what i'm saying now please you must understand what i'm teaching you we're examining faith elijah was a temperous man the bible is a compendium of many things demons spoke in this bible is that true donkeys spoke in this bible are we together men spoke in this bible people lied in this bible people use divination in this bible so the fact that it is written here does not automatically mean it is of god you have to get this so when the bible or when we talk about the word of god we are not talking about just the opening of anything because you see we must balance this there are believers who say if you can show me in the bible i will do it that means you are going to get into error the, the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything you want there are habalists today when you enter their shrine you see other books and you see a very clean bible there are we together and they will read a scripture and instruct you based on that scripture and because it is in the bible you will believe i should walk no so i want us to examine what the word of god is listen to my message uh i think the living logos i done a teaching years ago on that what exactly is the word of god because none of the apostles in the early church in fact even up till um emperor emperor nero constantine and all of these people they never had the opportunity to hold the bible like this it was a taboo they were kept in temples are we together and then of course when the people of god were caught in different kinds of captivities they were hidden and taken from place to place to arrive like this as a compendium a lot happened to them are we together but the bible says let the word of christ colossians 3 verse 16 dwell in you richly so i want to ask you a question how did the disciples grow in the word when jesus resurrected i want you to go back to the book of acts when an average believer got up in the morning what did he study and how did he study are we together you would only go to the temple we do it in the anglican for those of us who are inclined anglican and maybe presbyterians to do this they have what we call first reading and second reading is that true where you come up you read this is the word of the lord thanks be to god and then you know that continues and then there are parts uh, where you recite you know the the apostles creed and so on and so forth like that now other pentecostal circles do not have the privilege of having that kind of thing you just come you preach and then you end this was how it was in jewish temples the priest one of the all of those people would come up and give you one of the scrolls they had messages for every time so you would read it and roll it back and and keep it and then they could preach from it they could speak for it and, and so on and so forth now if you don't understand this that i'm teaching three things will happen to you number one you can fall into the error of absorbing the letters blindly and believing that you are growing in the word because you are consuming these letters that's the first error or number two you can just say since this is not the word of god let me throw it away and destroy your spiritual life there are people today now you know i was talking with a few people and they were talking to me and said look the use of ipads and, and now please i don't have if you are using devices here that's the the, the goal is not to to um um discredit you on all of that we're in the 21st century 
but I think a, a group of gentlemen were talking to me and they said, Apostle, what is your take on the use of iPad? As far as the revelation of the word of God, we have its concern. Because, because our concept of scripture is that I'm holding a book. A man of God even said in revelations, God told John, write, not type. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, see, personally, I honestly, I honestly believe. See, there's something about holding this thing. <laughs> there is a chemistry between the letters of this book and your eyes. I, I absolutely believe that. But I don't have a problem. I mean, I have all kinds of things. We use it on our devices, phones, laptops, and, and whatever you have. What is the word of God? Write this down. Let's define what the word of God is. Since this is the instrument for producing faith, write this down. The word of God is any communication. The word of God is any communication or any platform. Any communication or any platform where the voice of God, the ways of God, write it down, where the voice of God, the ways of God, and the life of God can be accessed. The word of God is any communication or any platform where the voice of God, please listen, the ways of God and what? The life of God can be. That means what I am speaking to you now. If it contains the voice of God. If it contains, listen, the ways that is the principles of God. And if it is capable of releasing the life of God. What is this called? The word of God. Meaning as I'm speaking to you now. What I am saying is worthy of being written here. The only thing is that I was not part of those who were specifically, you know, brought together to make the 66 books. God's idea is not for us to be limited by 66 books. God's idea is that our lives become a continuation of the books that are written here. Are, are we together? So God's ultimate goal is not for you to be sound in scripture, but that you become it, an expression. That's why the Bible says we are living epistles. Say living epistles. So that, look at how it is. If you read something like, verily, verily, I say unto you, the words that I speak, Listen, they are spirit and they are life. Are we together? God's idea is not just for me to read it, but become that scripture. So that whoever does not have an opportunity and left his Bible at home can also read it in me. Are you getting the point? So imagine every believer like a page in the scripture, releasing certain possibilities. Men were not supposed to know God just by reading the Bible. They were supposed to know God by interacting with the church. So that way before anybody opens this book, he should open the book and say, Oh, so this is an explanation. So this attitude is called kindness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Ah, uh, some of you are lost. Let's come again. I want to deliver you from religion. Listen, listen. Listen, the power is not just in cramming scriptures. The power is in the words that are written here. That the Holy Spirit can use this word to forge something upon your spirit. So that you become an expression of it. Not just a talker of it. And that's why we destroy ourselves. The word of God is not Greek. The word of God is not Hebrew. Listen, the word of God is not English. The word of God is any platform for accessing him. Listen, 
if there is a way I can make this become the voice of God and a platform to speak a particular scripture within the period of that miracle this is the word of God how do I teach this now help me Holy Spirit if I prophesy to you and I say hey, Jimmy may the Lord bless you and it happens do you know what why it happened because what I have spoken is the Word of God it was a platform where the life of God could flow to him if I use oil to lay on your head the oil works because the Word of God is on it so the Word of God is not the right things about God the right things about God how many of you know granite now this Bible is like the granite the real granite do you just eat the thing like that you open it but you cannot access what is inside until you come to it are you getting what I'm saying see brothers and sisters that is why many people read this but they cannot get faith I'm going to show you something how faith comes but we must understand the character and the Word of God I read a lot I study the Bible but I have the consciousness that I am an expression of the Word of God are we together now so when you come to me I don't run and open the Bible and say this verse is this verse that uh -uh. that I left my Bible at home does not mean the Word of God is at home the Word of God is living and active it's your Bible I'm, I'm teaching you your Bible see I'm showing you why we don't get results I can hold this against a witch and put it under my bed and snore myself into a terrible dream are we together I may think that because this was under my pillow it does not have any power in itself the power is released listen when this is studied by faith by faith means that you believe that although these are letters the Spirit of God can breathe upon this this is what logos you see the word logos and rema that people are speaking rema is not just the revealed word rema is when the breath of the Spirit comes upon this letter it's like the breaking of the ground not seed and all of a sudden you can receive it so you don't need to recite the scripture you only need to have the life thereof the recitation of the scripture is to add to your excellence in communication and to strengthen your conviction it is not the recitation in my name they shall cast out devils Jesus did not say if you stand before people the name he said is not Jesus we mentioned Jesus so that they will know that the office we are acting upon is the Christ the name is not Jesus the name is Lord and Lord is a revelation it means absolute master sovereign controller so I look at a spirit I'm not speaking but I'm casting him in the name of Jesus the name of Jesus is not a recitation in the name of J-E-S-U-S -S, be healed no the name of Jesus is an office so whether I am talking or not is still the name of Jesus are you getting what I'm saying now Jesus meets somebody a madman in Gadara the demons beg him and beg him and say don't cast out what did he say go now that word go you say it and it may not work because the go is not just G O the go was simply an a voice activated communicator of the Word of God whatever he said even if he said come they still would have gone it's not it's not like they needed intelligent English because they, they spoke good English the demon say we understand no please don't be excited for nothing I really want you to get this thing are we together 
the word of God is not just about your voice the word of God is about an understanding that makes you become a platform for his life so as I am walking now I'm giving the word of God expression if I happen to open my mouth and speak to you I have given the word of God more expression that is the reason why a donkey could still communicate the word of God that is why handkerchiefs and aprons they were taken could the handkerchief speak they could not speak but they were going by the word of God Jesus sent men in his name they were not born again yet they returned with results they said the demons were subject to us through thy name hallelujah why do we study the Bible write this quickly we study the Bible for three major reasons number one we study the Bible because contained in the Word of God contained in the Bible as we know now I can call it interchangeably the Word of God you understand the Bible contains the most accurate dealing of God with man the Bible contains the most accurate dealing of God with man we study it because it's the most accurate historical compendium of God's dealing with man there are many history books but the Bible gives us the most accurate compendium historically speaking of God's dealings with man number two the Bible contains principles promises prophecies from God to man the Bible contains principles, promises, prophecies from God to man. So we study so that we can have an understanding of these things. Number three. We study the Bible because it is the only book we study the Bible because it is the only book that can authorize the Holy Spirit to make manifest what is written therein. We study the Bible because it is the only book that can authorize the Spirit of God or the Holy Spirit to make manifest the things that are written therein. No other spirit is legally authorized to manifest everything written here now it does not mean other spirits cannot manifest what is written here but only the holy ghost is authorized to back up to make manifest meaning listen listen meaning if i read the bible and i see by his stripes i am healed now listen when the word of god contained is released in my spirit because of this book is giving me access to that word of God now the Holy Spirit is authorized to make real that which I have believed from the book are you getting what I'm saying now a time is going to come maybe not in this current church age but a time is going to come we are not going to read this again I hope you know yeah a time will come we will not read this but we'll continue growing in the word a time is going to come we will not read this again it's not heresy it will not be in this dispensation the book of revelation ends with the beginning of a new dispensation we do not yet know what will happen therein the same way before our time it was only from acts chapter 1 you know when the church was born and now our dispensation has had the privilege of access to read this are we together other saints believers still in our dispensation did not read this yet the word of God was mighty in them for instance Apollos the Bible says he was even mighty in scripture this is where we miss it we read the letters and ben Hadad, the king of Syria, gathered all the hosts together. Gather me, O oh God. Gather me. Gather me, O oh God. You see, now listen, listen. That 
looks very sincere but the word of god is not on that statement i'm being careful so you don't feel offended but it's the truth i want to teach you how faith works do you know for many years i really didn't understand how faith worked until one time i i took out i studied almost 11 people those who represented men of faith from bishop oyedeko to kenneth copeland and his wife to dr frederick casey price to all of the men hallmarks of faith ew kenyon i sat down with these people and i started seeing it i said so this is where we're missing it we recite scriptures and believe that the recitation is where the power is released no sir are we together am i discrediting the reading of the word of god of course not of course not you can see how old this bible is it was not like that something made it so it's called diligence diligence until the bible you you see it i don't know how many times i've laminated this bible again and again i've read it to a point that the pages i can close my eyes you say matthew okay i mean isaiah i wanted to try you know i can literally open any page everywhere is marked up and down so i believe it but i found out that many of us keep accumulating this and then we wonder why things are not working for us the word of god is the spirit and the life of god the spirit and the life of god the spirit and the life of god whether released by the reading of these letters or communicated through the speaking of the holy spirit faith comes now let's discuss faith we're back to faith Romans 10 19 Romans 10 17 is God helping us tonight I'm working this thing with us because I want us to understand faith we're going to pray Romans 10 19 read it please 10 17 one to read uh-huh now the word hearing let me correct two things the word hearing the first hearing is a very broad word it does not just mean faith comes by using your ears are we together the word hearing is a very broad word and there are many synonyms you can add to it number one is perception 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 faith comes by perceiving not just hearing with the ear alone like speaking to you physically faith comes by perception because when you read your bible you don't hear anything correct you don't hear what you read like this you can hear through your ears and remember even about hearing the bible says he that has an ear meaning not everybody has this kind of ear are we together so the first hearing there means perception any platform that can create perception is not just limited to hearing and then the second hearing there means understanding or comprehension i want you to correct that not necessarily in your bible i'm not saying it's wrong so faith comes by perceiving and understanding and that by the word of god that's how faith comes when you just read it and it says hearing and hearing there is a dimension of application it means listening again and again and that can help but the accurate picture is perception and understanding everybody say perception say understanding the second hearing there is understanding understandest what thou readest on that was where the problem was the utopian enoch he was not reading he was reading but understandest what thou readest perception so when i'm studying the word of god the bible now and i'm reading it the moment perception can come out of it the word of god has come into my spirit i don't have to hear now when i'm listening to bible on tape or hearing a preacher teach like this and the word of god comes it is still hearing so when we say hearing i don't just mean your ears your ears your eyes your dreams your visions any platform that can create perception can impart faith mm. listen listen there are people who have had dreams and got up from those dreams 
are we together and took certain actions those dreams brought solid conviction to their lives I shared with you about the encounter that I had with Jesus Christ now that encounter is not written in the Bible that Joshua Selman will have an encounter but in that encounter I told you Jesus did not speak to me he never opened his mouth to speak yet he spoke so many things I left that encounter full of faith and Stephen full of faith where did he read anything that we see faith there Do not limit your Bible study to just hearing and reading. Any platform that creates the perception of the word can release faith. So the first is perception. The most common platform of perception is hearing your ears because you hear sounds, sounds. So as I'm speaking to you now, if you cover your ears, it's difficult for you to read my lips. Do you know why I'm speaking this to you? How do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith how do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith if someone is blind if someone is deaf if someone is dumb are you saying faith cannot come to him are we together you see people go to crusade grounds completely deaf Meaning as a man of God is preaching, other people are jumping. They themselves are not even following. Yet at the end, they are healed. And we are going to be finding out later that their faith healed them. So how did it come? Question two. A dead man who cannot breathe, cannot talk, cannot do anything. How does he come back to life? What is the principle of resurrection? And then, how did the bones of Elijah, not breathing, still transfer the anointing to somebody? Everybody say the word of God. That thing you call the bones of Elijah was the word of God. Any platform that can release the life of God. Thank you, Jesus. Say after me, the word of God is not limited to my hearing. Thank you. The word of God is not limited to my hearing alone. The word of God can come into my spirit through any mechanism that can create perception and understanding. Are you getting what I'm saying? meaning the word of god can come to you through a christian music now you are listening to a song play something play what you are playing watch this listen if this guy is anointed hallelujah okay that's all right that's all right thank you look at what this guy is playing play it are you hearing any words English is there Hebrew is there your language I want to follow me carefully are we together now but you see the anointing that is released from this I can put the Word of God on this sound now and you will see miracles happening are you getting it now <laughs> I can put it by saying then this now the sound that leaves this keyboard does not become an ordinary sound it becomes the word of God why a platform that can release the life of God the power of God are you getting what I'm saying now you will hear it and somebody now will come under the anointing and you are wondering the operation of the word of God this is ordinary keyboard that's how you can be listening to worship in your room and faith is rising you are not exactly reading any scripture per se yet faith is rising because through it the word of God is coming are you getting what I'm saying the word of God the word of God is at work in me the presence of the Holy Spirit in my life is a sign that I was born of the word 
if you are not born of the word he cannot come because he comes in response to the word so I am born of the word of God new life is in me so the Holy Spirit is comfortable to live in me are we together and every time that spirit and life is in me he can release what is being said now I can speak it to happen but I don't have to speak it alone to happen I just need to create a platform for it to happen look let me tell you brothers and sisters if you believe this you will know why we pray for the sick not necessarily having to say be healed you just touch them and you're saying sir you see some somebody who tried to say here yeah, this is where the pain is and you are touching his head how does touching the head heal pain at the back is the word of god you are only placing the word of god on them so you have become an expression of the word the word became flesh that's what you have now become so you are not only reading scripture you are the word becoming flesh the word becoming flesh when you play keyboard you transfer the word of God to it this is what is called the ministration of life the ministration of life you are transferring life you are transferring life to that word are, are we together now so when you put the word of God upon this now deliverance begins to happen healings begin to happen a sinner can sit down that's why people come for concerts and at the end of it you make an altar call and they come out you didn't teach John 3 16 but the Word of God convicted them because it came from the music I want you to understand faith I really want you to understand faith this may look complicated but as we continue you will see how it ties up it will make your life powerful I don't move around hoping that demons will respond to my quoting of scripture I know a lot of scripture to the glory of God but I am a life-giving spirit I am a life-giving spirit my body has become a communicator of the Word of God the spirit and the life of God so if I shake you for instance shake me Femi if I shake you I release the life and the power of God are you seeing that if I shake you I release the life and the power of God you may be sick I may not know but as soon as I leave you you find out I've been healed now I did not ask you whether you are sick the Word of God saw a need and because I have become the Word of God it feels it immediately are we together say I'm a manifestation of the Word of God please I want you to say it I am a manifestation of the Word of God say this my goal for studying scripture my goal for studying scripture is not just to be learned but to be an expression of the word of god my goal for studying scripture is not just to have head knowledge it's not just to be learned but to be a walking bible so when men look at your life they can read a scripture immediately through your life living epistles we fool ourselves in the body of Christ that because we have finished the Bible cover to cover and by God's grace I've done this many times so we say I've read the Bible cover to cover if I'm a man of God as I'm speaking the Bible says blah, blah, blah. And, and once they are talking these spirits are saying my God these guys don't even know what the Word of God is we fool ourselves and at the end of it nothing happens are we together and then somebody comes with a saxophone or a guitar and starts playing anywhere you see the manifestation of the power of God the Word of God must have preceded it because the Holy Spirit is not authorized to manifest when the Word of God has not gone ahead so when you see the Word of God moving when you see the Holy Spirit moving he's confirming the Word confirming the Word whether spoken or revealed the manifestation of the Word of God the manifestation of the Word of God I tell you as I as I speak this thing you see sometimes because we are talking about the Word of God and we're dividing it accurately to open up these things the Spirit of God let me tell you something about the Holy Spirit the moment you begin to communicate the Word of God very accurately it's like his body is itching him he wants to move he wants to confirm it I'm telling you how to confirm the Word it's not Holy Spirit move move that's not it 
let the word of God be communicated accurately and it's like it's like he cannot I'm not talking of just shaking under the anointing I'm talking of signs and wonders and miracles you place the word of God upon everything the word of God is on the air the word of God is on your chair everything that can communicate the word of God that's what makes the anointing when the word of God saturates a place the Holy Spirit follows everywhere the word goes the Holy Spirit follows everywhere the word goes if the word goes to your kidney he's following it there if the word goes to your academics is following it there if the word goes to your business you don't get the holy spirit to move outside the word of god is witchcraft so send the word of god and the holy spirit follows the word are we together yeah you send the word of god and the spirit moves in that direction so if i declare that i prophesy to your finances if the Holy Spirit does not back that, then it was not the word of God. Even if I quote scripture, are we together? So the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is proof that the word of God has been released in a place. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit is proof that his word has been released. We pride ourselves with theological knowledge. We pride ourselves with knowledge of scriptures. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world. But it's not the word of God. So the Holy Spirit cannot back it. Please hear what I'm teaching you. The Holy Spirit only comes to the scene. When the word of God is released. Whether through speaking. Or through any platform. Including your body. Being a manifestation. So when you want to see the energy of the spirit released. Then be sure that what you are speaking or doing. Is the word of God are you getting what I'm saying now mm. if it's not the word of God you are not going to get the Holy Spirit here please hear me the degree to which we have seen the miraculous is the extent to which the word of God has come out so you can speak hundred words only 20 of them are the word of God the Holy Spirit backs only 20% of your communication are you getting what I'm saying this is the difference between what we call anointed people they may not have all the verses, but their bodies have become greater platforms to release the word of God. So the Holy Spirit in answer to the word confirms them. Are we together? I'm a carrier of the word of God. Not just by cramming scriptures. I have read it, but the word of God flows through me like water. The spirit and the life of God I understand the principles as I walk in the consciousness of that principle and with the understanding every time I utter my word or respond in any direction as the Holy Spirit would direct that's what we call faith I will tell you what faith is now faith is your response to and from the Word of God not just scriptures your response to the Word of God so you have to make it be sure that what you are responding to is not just scripture but the word of God and it is called faith and that faith will bring performance more on that next week I'm not talking so much about I need you to understand the word of God so that when we begin to teach on the dynamics the operation of faith you will know why certain things are not happening in our lives our idea of faith largely has been correct assimilation of scripture correct recitation of the same and then expectation in hope that something will happen it will never work that way are we together john 3 16 for this and that and that and that happened for we know the grace of our lord that though he was poor yet he became rich so that we through his poverty might and we wrap it and we say lord this is your word respond and say no it is true that i spoke that through the servants but you are only speaking scripture theologically listen let me tell you if the word of god was just scripture then the scribes should be have been the greatest carriers of the word they knew the entire pentateuch of heart and jesus looked at them and said ye are not knowing the scripture he said you search the scripture for a thing in them you will find life and you will not come to me listen if jesus appears here and somebody is writing a book the Bible says scripture testified of him is that true scripture listen 
if you are writing a book about me and I show up, who is a more authentic medium? Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, the scribes had head knowledge that prophesied about Jesus. When Jesus came, they said, no, Jesus, we don't want you, but we want the scrolls. And he said, you are hypocrites. You read the scrolls, they talk about me. Now you're reading, I am here as the word become flesh. You are rejecting me, yet you are doing Bible study. And Jesus said, you are hypocrites. Are we together? But a woman just ran and said, thou, I mean, blind, but if I may but touch the hem of who? The word of God. She perceived. She didn't read anywhere, but she saw men looking and she said, I have heard and something has happened in my spirit. I perceive and I understand that this man has power to heal. There is nowhere in scripture where she read that you should take a step of faith. She created an action based on her perception. God honored that action and she was healed. I'll teach you that next week. Don't take action until you perceive and understand the word. You will be wasting your time. So we take many steps. Do you know people can come and stand here with their tight? Frowning. No perception. No discernment. No understanding. All these men of God. How am I sure? A Jimmy's tie. I'm looking at this tie. I hope it's not my money that is going to buy another tie. And you are there grumbling and arguing. And you drop that. And the Bible says whatever is not of faith is sin. Now, men of God will not tell you that because they need the money. So they'll say, no problem, unbelief or not, that's your business, just drop it, let's use it. But I'm telling you the sincere truth, it must be by faith. So here's what the Bible says, Hebrews 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6, give it to us please. Goodness. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. I want us to read it. Now you will understand all that I've taught you. There is a protocol to faith, ready? want to read <laughs> but without faith it is impossible to please him full stop whoever wants to be a man of faith what is the first step it says for he that comes to god must believe not his word leave the issue of manifestation you must believe that he exists it your perception must on you must understand the person you are dealing with the integrity of his person and his ability to provide for you number one then number two that he's a rewarder that he's a rewarder there are two things God wants to be known for to release faith one that he exists his existence means a lot because if he exists then he's mighty if he exists then he can hear my God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's living on the inside, roaring like a lion. There's a song like that. Have you read, have you listened to that song? Do you believe God is alive? I know you will say yes. Your life does not show it. Are we together? Because if you believe, it will compel you to take action. Look at me. Listen. Do you believe there is water on this table. Do you believe? Do you believe? Now you can come and carry it. Do you believe there is water on this table? Yes, you will not come and carry it because you consider it to be a waste of time. So do you believe there is God? Yes, so you can relate to him. This is why people do not pray. They don't believe God is alive. Let me tell you the truth. The revelation behind the life of prayer it's not religious struggles. It's not an attempt to compete with people. I prayed for eight hours. You prayed for six hours. All that is junk. Prayer is predicated upon an understanding that unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. After the service, people are going to be waiting here, queuing right to the back because you believe I'm not going. What if I just, I use style and just run out? If I do that for three weeks, you will stop standing here because it's a sign that you doubt my ability. The first doubt of believers is not even in the power of God to produce that result. It's even his existence. I know you think this thing I'm telling you is powerful. The word of God is guiding us here. Do you believe God exists? It's a very big deal. 
I've given my life to him, no problem. Do you believe he exists? He's alive. He's alive. Sing it. He's alive. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever he's alive. Amen. Do you know why every time you visit a herbalist, you must live with a charm? You don't visit whether that charm is a goat or is something you must live with. We call them tokens. Tokens are representations of the existence of something. Are we together? So you go to him. I must marry that man. Put him in a bottle for me. And then they carry his picture. Throw it in a bottle and lock it. Correct? And give you. Say hide it somewhere. For as long. Let me tell you. The devil does not need that bottle. He needs your faith. And since your faith must be tied on something. He gave you a bottle. Let me tell you why it still works, even if you are born again. You are born again because although you are born again, you truly still, you have tasted of the power of that charm. Something in you still tells you it's working. So it continues working. The day a higher revelation and a higher anointing contents, it stops working. A man of God one time was hungry and was passing and he saw a chicken that they had slaughtered for sacrifice. He carried the chicken and roasted it and ate. Do you know why? He never believed that that thing can do anything to him. He said they shall take up poison. Who? The believers. Believers in God, not in miracles. You believe in miracles, but do you believe in God? We're talking about knowing that God exists. You know Joshua Selman exists, but do you believe he exists? Let me tell you something. You are a hypocrite if you claim to believe what is written here and don't believe the one who wrote it. Are we together? Oh, I believe all things are mine. Do you believe the God who said it? Lord, I don't believe in you, but I believe in what you said. Does that make sense? You don't believe in me, but you believe in what I said. No. Me and what I have said are one. My word is my bond. My word represents me when I'm not there. You can take my word to represent me. If I, listen, Sam, if you are dedicating an album and I stand before Koinonia, listen to me, and I say, Joshua Selman, on behalf of myself, I give you one million naira. What is that? That's my word. Now, during... If you go somewhere and you are doing your calculations, you will calculate and say one million naira is coming from apostle. Have I given you the one million? But you know me. You believe in me. It's up to you now to believe I can deliver it. Let me tell you what you do. You will first size me and look at me. Can apostle really bring out one million naira? Are we together? So when you ascertain that I am able to do it, number two, am I willing? When you ascertain that, you say, I believe it. So when God says, I will bless you, your unbelief sizes him and says, no, God, you are great. But these triplets you are talking about, don't, don't joke with us. So the cure is not just action. The action part is hard. We are coming to that. But if you act upon something you don't believe is a waste if you believe in something and don't act it's also a waste are you seeing how we are cleaning it up but we are starting tonight with the understanding of God his word his integrity say I believe in God shout it I believe in God I believe he is alive I believe he exists that's why I love the apostles creed the Anglicans recite it all the time right i love it so much because it's an encapsulation it's called it's, it's like a statement of faith sometimes you need to recite what you really believe i believe my business can rise 
I believe my life can do this. I believe my wife can get pregnant. That's wonderful. But do you believe in God? There is no guarantee in scripture that if you believe those things, they will happen. He that believeth on me. John 12, 14. Please give it to us. We'll find somewhere and pray now. John 12, 14. John 12, 14. The son of the living God himself speaking. John 12, 14. John 14, 12. John 14, 12. John 14, 12. Thank you. Read it, please, everyone. One, two, read. Stop. It is important who you believe. Not just that you believe. Who you believe. Jesus never said if you believe on things, you believe that things are, will happen, they will happen. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believe on what? On me. I want your faith to be directed to me, not my works. Not my works. I believe all things are possible. But the reason why I believe all things are possible is because of him that can make them possible. The end of your faith should be tied to a person and his integrity, not the things he can do. Restful confidence. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And what? Greater works than this shall he do because I go unto my father. Do you believe in him? Do you believe he exists? Sister, listen to me. You, it's impossible to believe that fibroid will leave you until you believe in who the healer is. Are you getting what I'm saying? Man of God, I believe my ministry will be great. You are joking. You are just playing games. But I know whom I have believed. And so I am persuaded in his ability that he is able. The first thing is to believe the person. Then I am persuaded. We leave the person and we believe in the ability and the things that will happen. And we never get results. He said, I see this happen all the time. Innocent people not taking out time do you know this is why intimacy is important with god intimacy does not help you believe things intimacy gives you an encounter an encounter furnishes the reality of god in you so that whatever he says is as good as him so you can believe jesus son of god i believe in you i believe When I lock up myself, I carry my Bible. I set an atmosphere that brings an intense presence of God. And when I lie down and open my Bible, number one, I am not reading for preaching. MOG, I'm not reading for preaching. I'm not reading for recitation. John chapter 1, verse 5, in this and that and that. And, and with no, 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 no. I'm looking at it. Jesus said, If you believe in me, and I sit down there. Holy Ghost, help me believe this truth. Jesus said, his presence is there. Jesus said, and in my mind, I'm looking at people gathered for miracle service. They don't know me. Maybe they are discussing among themselves, where is the man? And the man is there walking on his faith. Lord, I know you are able. I don't know what I'm going to see here, but I believe in you. There is no assurance anywhere physically, but I believe in you. And when I step and come right here and sit down, the moment the worship team finishes, do you know what I tell the Holy Spirit every time? I say, let's go. It's time to go and do this. As I climb this stage, I'm an ordinary man, but not alone. He's standing by my side. And so I can speak and make every audacious statement. And because of what is coming, listen, let me tell you, I believe in Jesus. I really believe in him. When he tells me something, I don't doubt. 
you will always doubt God till you encounter him it's not the issue of I'm trying now let me tell you watch this the body of Christ has fabricated a formula that if not careful it will be our carnal attempt to recite and to 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 um, replace encounters is the concept a false concept of recitation of scriptures listen what we call confession comes from the word homologio meaning speak that which has been said i believe that there is a step to that but let me tell you what many people do we think that we just get up and start speaking I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I won't hear anything. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. And you said, I said it hundred times. Listen, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I hope you understand. I'm just trying to correct us because we will soon get frustrated with all those things. I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to my mind. No, listen, your mind was designed to submit. Your mind is not that rebellious. It was designed to submit. You have not created the condition for it to submit. The Bible said, casting down every yetzah, every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Your mind can submit. The mistake that we make is that we don't take our time to meditate. Lord, this shall not happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. But it's happening. It can't happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. It can't happen. Me, God forbid, I must carry my child. I'm carrying my miracle baby. Now, that is good. I don't have a problem with that confession. But what is the revelation behind it? What is the revelation that sponsors that thing? What you are speaking is not the word of God. What you are speaking is emotion. What you are speaking is fear. I can guarantee you most of what we do is a reaction to fear. It's just a spiritual reaction to fear or a spiritualized reaction to fear. Because, listen, if you are speaking right now and they tell you your registration date is closing now for whatever, maybe a job, you need 100,000. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I call forth help us. They are coming. Hey, they are coming. Oh, oh, God. They are coming. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let me show you that it's not just faith. It's fear. They were praying for the apostles to be released from prison in the book of Acts. They were praying and asking that God would send angels. God now sent the angels. Peter came out and they opened the door, saw Peter shot him back and kept praying that's what many of us do are we together no i can't find my wallet i'm a tighter what is this i'm a tighter i dropped my tight in koinonia oh god i'm a, I'm a tighter at least it's better than nothing but i'm teaching you restful confidence say restful confidence if you are to be honest you will know it's fear I notice the loudest prayer in Koinonia is against the spirit of death and the calling of destiny helpers. I have noticed it personally that every time I say everybody stand up and you know sometimes you can lead it seriously. Be serious. I mean when we say go is like an arrow. All kinds of. Where are your destiny helpers? Ah, where are they? Praise the Lord. Can you get to a point where when you speak, you speak based on conviction? When you say, I shall not die, you are not helping yourself believe. An encounter has furnished a reality in your life and it's on the strength of that reality you say, I shall not die. How many of you prayed to sit down on your chair? How many how many of you prayed to sit down okay, you need, okay praise the Lord are you hearing what I'm saying how many of you
when you came through perception and understanding you knew that there are laws that were created by God to keep this chair who among you is sitting down now and say oh Lord I really believe you I ah, know this chair you can't disgrace me now now does that mean you are not a believer for keeping quiet that's how restful your life should be you can sit down inside fire and you only talk when necessary because there is something you know are you hearing what I'm saying please I, I want you to believe what I'm teaching you otherwise this series is a waste I'm taking out time to pound on this because I want you to believe God you step in and somebody looks at you and says I'm your grandmother go and ask about the people I have killed I vow that you will not see December this year it's a vow I vow that you will not see December this year you now go back Lord is this how I'm going to go what did I do who did I offend let me tell you what most believers will say God forbid then later they will sleep and say Kai hi now let me tell you that woman herself is even afraid of you she's but because she gave an attitude and said I dare you she left you with an attitude you too you claim to have the attitude but there was no restful confidence after a while you say apostle um, I don't know don't mind I don't be it's not me but I'm just telling you so that you will pray for me it's still fear it's still fear the same way an intelligent student writes an exam he knows what he wrote and they'll just look and say do you know only four people passed the student may just feel an inkling of fear but the student knows that even if it's one student that passed I am the one now he's not boasting out of nothing he knows what he read he understood it he cross-checked the question after the exam and he was absolutely satisfied it's called restful confidence the other person who does not really know what he did is now hoping that's why when he sees ah, finally have you seen the best student Lord I'm grateful I give you all the praise but I expected it this is how your life must be that you know God sister you are 34 you are not going to marry and all of a sudden you start going and say talk mountain to mountain valley to valley everywhere you start running all around and you just fidget there are many of us the moment somebody speaks to you someone just holds your hand and says for sinner I had a vision in that vision I saw cats eating you up for sinner does not sleep for one week are you getting what I'm saying now I will tell you what the problem is the problem is not the vision the problem is not whether it's true or false the problem is you if I look at you now and say for sinner you're a man will you pray about it I'll tell you why it's not just because God told you you're a man there are too many things that have happened in your life to convince you beyond imagination you don't just believe you're a woman you don't just trust you're a woman you know you're a woman notice the progression I'm believing God I trust God I know my God I know him I know him God it doesn't look like him I know him when can you say you know him that's what Moses knew he knew his ways though he slay me yet will I praise him because I know him I know him I'm trusting God to get to a point in my life where I don't just jack up my faith trying to believe God 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 oh Lord I believe in you oh Lord I... no, no 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 at that point you will move mountains you will join these elders brothers and sisters mountains will stand before you people will even pity you their eyes because they think you are dead at the end of it they will not see the mountain again and they'll see you shaking yourself that's how great people live in this life this ministry you have seen is here by faith by faith by faith by faith 
I've come to a point where I'm not trying to believe God. I really trust him. Faith is based on the speaking of God. Trust is based on your experience with God. You have had an experience with God. There is a track record of his credibility. So you can trust. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he says, I fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He says, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. We need to begin to walk by faith. There are too many things in our lives that attempt to challenge our trust in God. But you must get to a point where you say, from today, I walk by faith. And the first encounter is to make the word of God real in your life. Look at me. The greatest investment you can make in your life is not having an education. The greatest investment you can make in your life is not just having good friends. The greatest investment you can make in your life is to make your life saturated with the word of God. Where you take the word of God as a project, you have given yourself a basis for true faith. Because there are mountains to cross. I like that Don Muen song. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Holy is the Lord. Holy We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. Listen, Koinonia, I speak to you. You are not the first to go through challenges. There are men on earth who have crossed this river. They have crossed the river of barrenness. They turn barrenness to triplets. Are we together? There are men who turn being a pauper not affording 10 naira to giving billions to nations there are men of god who turn two members to nations you are not the first there are those who overrode the mockery of men it's time for you to leave the level you are in this life of pity oh god won't you show up for me no sir he will show up when you are ready Though we are few, you are surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song that we'll be singing forever. So God puts his word upon your life. Femi, you will be great. He will never do any other thing until you do something with the word. You can sit there forever and die a failure. It does not mean he lied. The word of God does not act on itself. By the time you look at your life, my father is not doing well. My mother is not doing well. I came from a village. Please listen. I am one of 17 children. I am even the second to the last born. I am 35 years old. I've not done anything meaningful. You look at all of this and God says, if you believe me, God never gave men instructions until he revealed himself to them. The first assignment was to reveal himself to Abraham, revealed himself to Moses. Then he now sent them. They, every time they wanted to disobey, they remembered him. They remembered him. The same way somebody want to tell you, look, there's one, there's somebody that I saw in WhatsApp. I spoke with him and he said he's looking for a wife. And the way you have been desperately looking for a husband or a wife, I think I can do a range for you. And he said, no problem. God works in many ways. I believe, but that is not faith. It's unbelief. Are we together? Listen, make up your mind today. That you will never take any action in unbelief 
until you stay and believe God. This is why people who rush through things in life suffer. They rush to start business. They rush to marry. They rush to enter a relationship. They rush to do this. Do you know why? When challenges push you, you will not just look at what you are looking at. You have to look at God. You have to go back and say, Lord, I know you all. You spoke. You said Koinonia will rise. You said you will give us a voice. I believe you. Many graduates are holding their certificates, roaming around the streets in Nigeria, angry. The same people can bring notes for you when they were in 200 level. They said, God told me I will be great. Fast forward many years, they are now holding, they were never believing in God. They were believing in that certificate. They were just hoping that God was the certificate. Now that they've held the certificate, they are moving around and you are asking them, where were your visions? Where were your dreams? You said God gave you courage. God told you you will never fail. Brothers and sisters, what has God told you? Leave what he has told you and focus on him, the one who spoke. I'm reintroducing to you today a God who is dependable. I'm reintroducing to you today a God who had parted the sea. This Bible is a chronicle of his ability, a chronicle of his integrity so that you will believe him. Away with all those talk. We have mocked God. We have cursed God because of our challenges. I know there are challenges. I never said there would not be. That's why I read you Hebrews 11. But I want to see your reaction. Show me your reaction under fire and I show you whether you know God or not. Show me your reaction when things are not happening and I can tell you whether you know God. Though he slay me, will I be honest if I say I do not know him? I know him. I know him. He is dependable. If I die today without a miracle, I still know him. That's what made the people in Hebrews 11. They knew him so much, they rejected deliverance. Listen, listen. Imagine, for instance, that God gives you two options in life. Just imagine. And God says, you will go through a season with me for six years and you will become so mighty. Or you will go through a season for one year. You will start moving fast, but you will not become as mighty as six years. Let me tell you what many of us will choose. A bed in hand is what 20 in the bush. Oh God, thank you for giving me this one year. I can, I can pay the price. But there are those who know God and say, Lord, even if it's 10 years, let's go. Because one step in faith will give you 20 years worth of miracle. One step in faith. One step in faith. Have you not seen how God wiped the tears of people and changed the lives of people overnight? Men who trusted God. Koinonia, I'm introducing to you a God you need to know. Before you start claiming to believe his word, you must have an encounter with this God. You must create the atmosphere for his word to be real in your life. Let it not just be talk, 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 cheap talk, talk. No, sir. Anything God cannot give me, no man would claim to say he can give me. Anything God cannot give me. That's why I can look at any man and say thank you for your open door but go with it god did not open that door and i will not go back to sleep and regret i believe god brothers and sisters look at me i have gone through mountains and valleys in my life make no mistakes about it don't you think i'm just talking to you from a standpoint of comfort i have gone through things that very few people can go through and survive i know that god is mighty by and large in life everything you trust will fail you and a time will come you will no longer hold on to things but a person pastors have called me man of god i've listened to your messages but nothing is working in my ministry and the first question i ask them is are you sure you are called and they say yes i said if you believe you are called did you hear what god told you they say yes i say stay there Stay at the last instruction he gave you and die there. There's a song that says, I will be a good soldier. He says, I will die at my post. If he does not shift a post, let me die there. I will survive the mockery. 
I will survive the ridicule. I don't have to be under pressure to explain things to people. No, it's not like this. Actually, it's, it's, it's God that told me. Uh, you will never believe him until you encounter him. You will never believe him until you encounter him. You will never believe him until you encounter him. Koinonia, please hear me. Faith, the foundation of faith is an encounter with God. An experience that furnishes the reality of him. There are real mountains you will face. You will face all kinds of mountains. Even the most trusted people in your life cannot take his place. A time will come you will have to stand alone and say, Lord Jesus, I trust you. I trust you. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Though we are few. Though we are few. We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing we'll be forever. Singing forever. Holy, holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord, say. Say faithful is the Lord. Faithful is Listen. the Lord. Listen. I want you to fall in love with your Bible tonight. Listen, please. Listen. Listen. Please listen to me. I know you have books in your library. Listen to me, please. I know you have books in your library. I know you have DVDs. I know you have CDs. But I bring you to a point tonight where you eat this word till something leaves it and enters your spirit. I have in my phone a compendium of the words of Jesus. Only the words of Jesus spoken. Only everything Jesus ever said in the Bible. Only it. I listen to it every time. I love the words of Jesus. I listen to it sometimes. I let it run for hours as I sleep. And I have encounters. I wake up under certain intense dimensions. I know something happened. I don't need to know what happened. I know something happened. Are we together? I know that something happened to me. An encounter. I'm a very busy person. Just returned from a trip today. Tomorrow we're off for another one. You know, Eddie was driving me. We're coming from the bank and he asked me a question. He said, Apostle, do you ever rest? I may live a busy life, but not too busy for this. This is the most accurate picture, compendium of the dealings of God with men. I don't read, I read my Bible emotionally. I don't read my Bible intellectually. When I look at it, I see myself. If it be thou, bid me come. I, I, I replace Peter and I stand there. I look at all the challenges that are before me. There's a peace in my heart. In spite of all the darkness that surrounds me. And this peace that I know only comes alive every time I hear your voice. There's a light in my soul. In spite of all the darkness that surrounds me. And this light 
in my soul only comes alive every time I hear your voice. Listen, brothers and sisters, I want you to hear me. If you do not come to a point of restful confidence through the word, you will shake like a leaf at life. At a point in time, you will feel like dying. That's what makes people commit suicide. They get to a point in their lives where they move left, there is no way out. They move right, they are pressed to the core. And they think the only way is to drink, to smoke, or get a gun and blow themselves. This word can minister the life of God to you. This is ordinary scripture. But the moment you begin to read it, believing that out of it will come the word of God. I assure you, you will see miracles in your life and ministry. Sister, I'm prophesying to you, it's not over. I don't know who said it's over, but you take this Bible and recreate your future. You have been predicting it by wishful thinking. Now create it through the power of the word. You have been predicting it just by hoping. Hope is important. It make it not a shame. But let me tell you the truth. If you must walk in any reality in your life, you are going to have to create it. I believe the word of God. I know whom I have believed. I have not followed cunningly devised fables. I believe him. It's time for every word that proceeds from your mouth to be a communication of faith. Don't speak until you believe. We having the same spirit of faith. It's called the operation of faith. We having the same spirit, operation of faith. As it is written, I have believed and so I spoke. I did not speak to believe. I spoke because I have believed. You don't speak to believe. You have an encounter to believe. Then you speak because you have believed. This is Bible faith. Time will fill me of Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith, Koinonia, please listen. They built houses by faith. Some of us have come where God has brought us today. It is by grace through faith. By grace through faith. By grace, but through faith. It is not just by grace, through wishing. By grace, through crossing your legs and hoping that because it's by grace it will happen, you will never see any result. There are two prayer points we are going to pray now. And we are done for this night. Next week, I don't want you to miss it. I'm going to be teaching you the dynamics of faith. How faith really works. We are going to look at this thing in depth. How do I translate desires to manifestations? Rise up on your feet. We will rise in your name. Adonai, you reign on high. We will rise in your name. Adonai. Let your first prayer point tonight be a prayer of thanksgiving. Lord, thank you for showing me what I've been missing. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, thank you for showing me tonight that faith is not just wishful thinking. Faith is not just mental asset. Faith is not just memory of scripture, although that is important. Faith is not just Bible study for a historical advantage. Lord, I thank you. Shabrata rato sobrekete. Ela kaparata kato shodo brekete balara 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 balara. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I like you to cry and say, Father, an addiction for Scripture plant it in me. Listen, listen. There are some of us here as I'm speaking. 
for one month for two months you have not you have not opened this bible you have opened it in koinonia listen but to settle down some of us used to be really serious with studying the bible you just give god 15 minutes just rush it no 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 listen the goal is not to read the bible every day the goal is to be consistent life will not afford you there are very few people except those who use devotionals there are very few people that can really afford to read the bible every day five o'clock to six it's a worthy habit but not everybody will have that are we together there are many leaders who don't study the bible i'm a leader i know how hard it is to work with those routines i'm a leader i'm a man of god many men of god will lie to you it's not every morning that i get up i read my bible no that would be a big lie many people will lie to you no you can't do that you can't do that 5 30 we're out of this town to catch up with a flight there may not be time i may barely even have the time to sleep i may just get up and rush and take my bath but one thing i can tell you when the bible says when you see the bible put an emphasis the key is consistency the key is not religion you can develop a habit that will make you consistent like a devotional like creating a time morning in the afternoon or in the evening or any of them but brothers and sisters if you want to grow in faith you are going to have to embrace your bible and give god time so i like you to pray and say lord grace to give you time in my life lift your voice grace to give you time grace to give you time grace to give you time not to rush around my life that i will seek you with all my heart i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart i will leave my hands to you and worship I will worship with all my heart. I will search for you and I will find you. I will find you with all my heart. I will leave my voice to you in worship. I will worship. Lord, I give you time. This is my busy life. Do something upon my life. Let me be a student of the Bible. Let me give time, knowing that my faith. All I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. Not a godfather, not a godmother. All I need is you, Lord. The fountain of favor, the fountain of wisdom. All I need is you.
Now, I didn't have time to talk about this, but we are going to pray it all the same. Listen to me. We are praying. We are rounding up. You cannot obey God until you know his will. Are you hearing me? I will shift that to next week. Discerning the will of God. But for now, let me just tell you something. There are two dimensions to the will of God. There is his written will and there is his revealed will. His written will is that which he has allowed to be written in scripture. A communication of his desire. It is, it is not matured in the spirit to ask whether God wants you rich or God wants you alive. There are scriptures that already show you it is his will. Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the thoughts I think towards you said the Lord thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future. So asking, oh God, do you want a good life for me? It's not a wise prayer. But there are certain dimensions of his will that must be revealed. Next week, I'm going to teach you how to access the revealed will of God. It is not written here that Femi should be based in Zaria. It is not written that Sam should be in London. Are we together? It is not written here that a Jimmy should marry Hope. It is not written here that Eddie should be a protocol in Koinonia. But you will need, let me tell you something. One of the areas where people have marked time in their life, they want to obey, but the will, the will, the will, I have studied this and I'm still studying it. The ability to access the revealed will of God. Because if you act in disobedience, it is still unbelief. You have acted. Your action must be based on a knowledge of the will of God. We are going to take off from there. So I like you to pray. One prayer with all your heart. And say, Lord, everywhere I'm still in confusion as to your will for my life, accurate clarity revealed to me. Lift your voice and pray. Koinonia, pray. Every gray area threatening my confidence. Every gray area threatening my confidence. Every gray area. Reveal your will. Reveal your will. confusion hallelujah listen listen please if we don't call your case we are going to we are going to deal with this if not we'll have this place very rowdy now who brought this woman oh yeah come now who brought her no no don't worry don't worry what's wrong with her she has brain problem brain she lost her memory she lost her memory she's lost her memory she doesn't know you now Ah, what happened? Don't know, I'm just her house help. Oh, you are just her house help. Come and help me. Look at this girl. Many house helps. This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness, he will let this woman go. I bring you life. Life to these dead cells, dead brains. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. You, 
Look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Just try to look at me. You come back to the miracle. Find someone and keep this, this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person from outside the room. I'm saying we'll pray for them, but the Lord is showing me. You brought somebody. Is he a sick person? Who is that person? Inside or outside? Please, let's save time more. God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here. He will come back with testimonies for this woman. It's terrible. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone. You literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes. When you look at light like this, it burns you seriously. This thing started this year. Who is that person, please? Who is that person? Who is that person, oh? Is she the... Okay, come. Who brought her? Mama? Does she, can I speak English or does she want to answer? Come now. Why are you afraid? Huh? What's, what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting her eyes. I will pray for her. Tell her I will pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Is she here? Mama, I will pray for you right now. This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not that I'm sick. Okay. I need marriage and. I... You want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimonies. Yes, Do you believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? Hmm. You need to be delivered first before marriage. Hmm? I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go.
come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural, inexplainable. The hand of God. Lift your hands. Hmm. In the name that is above all names. Now, there are some of you, as I pray, you see, some of you, what is stopping you is the hand of darkness. For a few people, not everybody, because I'm seeing spirits. The moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just want you to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This, this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages, come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness that is responsible. The power of God is falling. That devil. There are spirits that are responsible for delay. Come out. 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 These are demon spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Marital delay. The Lord rebuke you. I tell you, God is setting people free. Marital delay as it's happening. Marital delay. Marital delay. It's a yoke of bondage outside. The fire of God is visiting a few people. All those above 30, 30 and above who have not gotten married, ladies, let God visit you now. I release that fire. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Reke it, just a simple. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, back up, back up. But to break it, to break it, to The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages. I see an angel standing there is one lady the power of God will come upon you strong that devil of darkness enough is enough just this row because I see the angel of the Lord standing Lord let that person come out the Holy Ghost will bring you out you will come out you will come out you will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost leave her alone she will come out no Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, he forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. 
I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, rekete te te, rekete te te, reke poshoto, batoko poteke, rekete poso kotoba, leke poriata, man rekete te te te, eke poroto pakata. You will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that, a devil of darkness. Inside and outside, this is a this is a demonic issue. There are people, oh, there are people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. It's a spirit. It's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I've, I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we have mentioned. What are you coming out for? A hole in my heart. Always, ever since I got from Osa. Did the doctors tell you? Yes. After the treatment. The also they did something, but just for a while. But that will. Sister, come. God will visit you. This has nothing to do with also. Hmm? Where's your? You have an elder sister. Yes. Where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes. What What's she doing? She's married, but 
the first child she gave birth to, she has been a problematic child. In fact, this is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground, and she has not started talking. And I'm all this while she has not given birth to her. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, you. No, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now. Are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me, don't worry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. is it? <laughs> eh? Shall we see how true it is? Lord, visit him. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? You do. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this time because it's, it's multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bit to try to help the be healed, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. Be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things, parents be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in a mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then... God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my
us walk with me. You desire. Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. confusion and this is why God is telling me this is how your life is that's why I held you and I was walking God wants to set you free from serious confusion you are easily deceived anybody can tell you anything and that's why I was moving around this does not this is confusion hmm? you get easily deceived anybody just say anything and you believe can I pray for you hold my hands both of your hands Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go. Release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. strong heart. The Bible says be wise as serpents. What are you here for my sister? Oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. Suddenly, you become heavy because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it. It's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for Him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go. Cares, go. Cares, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place tonight. Because I tell you, Pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take the miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart come sister. Unto him come who sits on the throne Let God find you today. Are you hearing me? 
to Jesus, the Lamb who was slain. Hold my hands. Father, find a vessel in this lady. Do with her what only you can do. Ignite a fire in her spirit. Even as you have revealed to me, let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be qualified. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb who was slain. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache. Intense my grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Who is precious here? Precious. You are precious. Your real name, all the one precious. <laughs> Make sure it's the name your father gave you, not the one you gave yourself. This night, say I must be precious. God, you must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, see, God must visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! Shataka balata pokosia. The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out to a foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at, look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing? Look at, look at this. This is what is responsible. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Zombe kete kelaya. Brata pata kata baladaba. Just leave her. It cannot stand. It's going. Now, foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you are... No, 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 I didn't ask my green to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother? Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's, no, he's doing nothing. He went for holiday. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. Some of you want to run. You want to fake visa and run to Germany. Can I tell you something? The Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Because some of you are already planning. You just believe. You say you are running. Where to say greener pastures? 
the Bible says he makes me lie down in the green pastures is the presence of God don't feel embarrassed okay may the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ you will be a great teacher of the word huh you will be a great teacher of the world. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes. You will be rich, oh. you have suffered you will be rich and look at me i'm not just this is not entertainment i'm telling you the word of the lord huh never forget the house of god but you will be mightily blessed how it will happen we even make people think you went to diabolic you went and did diabolic things may the lord bring this to pass you will see it happen God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you'll just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this, God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear, and beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call. Precious, where's your mother? Where do you believe God wants to visit your family? Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that that he maltreated her. This thing since when she was small when till was now. Small. This is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No. I, I like singing. I'm not calling to the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about, about it. Come and line up here quickly. Quickly. God wants to visit people. I don't know why. Worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer. Worship ministry. Ah. Please think about it. Oh. <laughs> see, the worship ministry is not a hobby. Blessed is he. If there's no space, just stand where you are because fire, there's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and is, is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now. Take it. Fall. Fall. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. 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 The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Shaka baladabakapa. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. 
my God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, 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 let it fall. take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, healing anointings. Take it, make sure you are receiving it. You will write songs. Many of you will hear songs in your spirit. New songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Receive it, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, songs of power, songs of light, songs of grace, songs of healing. Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension, but consecration is the key to a genuine life. You want to stand, some of you are already looking for money. If this is your ambition, you will not get this Davidic anointing. It doesn't happen that way. Your heart must pant after God and after his kingdom. You must stay in the place of training until he builds you. Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall dimensions lord release it from the east side of the temple let there be a releasing songs of power songs of the spirit hallelujah so that we will do mighty things for our god hallelujah please go back to your seat Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer request. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Man, de 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 bakoso so 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 do 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 prato shubata. Zike te 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 preke te pele de bush. Please don't be in a rush this night, because what God wants to do, He has not finished. Zise 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 mene ke te pele de bush. Please, you are sick. Come out, just ushers help me and line them up, please, please. Quickly, quickly, this is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing, please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is, please play the instrument. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Malia Marako, Sobreti Kalabash. Those of you, those of you stay, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you. Please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. It's a majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. 
The Holy Spirit, gentle touch. Help me, Pastor. Please help me with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus, Jesus. we, we believe. believe. Make sure you pass Jesus. your prayer request. I tell you, there is a there healing is river. Healing your there is a name. healing river. Hey, As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Let an so Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing. The moment Jesus. I pray for you, begin to check yourself.
that go. Foul devil. Out. Out. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. You oppress this lady. Go, go. 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 There's no staying. The power of God is against you. Let her go. Let her go. I command restoration.
soon as we pray on the request, I want to release breakthroughs into lives and families. This is probably one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight. Many of you don't know what a breakthrough is. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says, Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers and the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing. Standing right across, I see you. God cannot allow you to go back the same way. It's impossible. You didn't come to meet an idol. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's a very prophetic moment right now. As we pray, I'd like to ask the ministers, Pastor Williams. Pastor. Please, if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request. Hallelujah. Pray along with us. Prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, O God locate cases there are there are difficult cases cases of barrenness deliverances for families lord this is an altar you have sanctified in one accord we pray just lay your hands across it as we release the virtue of perfection total breakthroughs academic breakthroughs Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God. children the I am that I am the beginning and the end the first and the last who is there like unto you you are greater than the greatest you are stronger than the strongest 
You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs, our supplication, our requests unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request has seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we will come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you, Lord, because every need, every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. 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 Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know that all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us through. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people that are in this place, inside and outside, they came here Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, Please, when I pray, I like you to shout amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. Shiva I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage, afflicting any family I set you free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. father mother brothers sisters be free be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Be free. Be free.
free. Be free. Anyone here, whether you or your family members, looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names, between today and the next 40 days, I place a demand upon the heavens. Receive miracle jobs. Receive miracle jobs. Receive miracle jobs for you, for your loved ones. probation you are trusting the hand whatever it is you are doing your project things are difficult whatever academic issue tonight in the name of the Lord God of Israel the one who does wonders in this place I declare step into a season of academic victory step into a season of academic victory I release you from any kind of bondage I release you any kind of academic bondage be free be free be free Amen. hallelujah all those who are due for marriage whether you or your love your loved ones see let me tell you in this place once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Right. Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight I pray that your wives and your husbands, those of you who, are, who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call, run out here. Because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. Amen. Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring Miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. God told it Before December 31st, 2013, come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources. We 
Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. These men will not just get well, they will be trained. The first thing you need is the staying grace. The school is not easy, let me tell you the truth. But happy are you when you pass through it because you will command wealth that will make you afraid. I pray for you. Every curse of poverty and lack. There are some of you who are kingdom financiers. The power of God will come upon you. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Now I pray for everyone. This cause of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the Lord Jesus this night by the sure mercies of the God of David I command your heavens to be open I command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open That bring prosperity, favor, and wisdom. Hallelujah. Money comes through favor, it is preserved through wisdom. The Bible says, Through wisdom is a house built, and by understanding it is established. Through knowledge, the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing. I pray, let your hands receive wealth that only God can give inexplainable but undeniable receive it in the name of Jesus let me tell you brothers it is not by power when it comes to prosperity it is not by might it's by the spirit of God hallelujah two more things and we're up I want to pray for favor. This is one of the things we enjoy in abundance. Hallelujah. I cannot tell you how the favor of God works. No man can explain it. But I know it works. I know it works. I am a testament. If you believe... I want you to believe many of you, you you are used to suffering you don't know what the favor of God can do some of our family members what you need is the favor of God the Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 it said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions. Neither did their arms save them. But because you had, you showed favor towards them. Please believe. One encounter of favor. I tell you it can, it can, it can keep you in a position for a lifetime. Believe it. There is something called divine favor. What you see today is the evidence. We have never paid a dime for this venue. The last miracle service, I still don't know who paid for the venue. This is the favor of God. I want you to believe it. If you want to work for everything in your life, get set to die. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Favor. For many of you to come on you, this is what you need. I'm telling you, this is what you need. Families, what you need is favor, not stories. My God, my God. I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that is upon Koinonia I take it and I release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now, take it now. I activate favor 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 with God favor with man favor receive it Favor.
Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You cannot come here tonight and not be on fire for God. You cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid. Many of you, your prayer altars are dead. It's not because you don't love God. Hallelujah. Many of you, one leg in, one leg out. Last year, you were on fire this year. Hallelujah. Many of our mothers, fathers, people at home, our prayer life, our word life, we're looking for things that only the word of God can give us. But Jesus said to Martha, I said, one thing is needful. One thing. One thing. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Alongside with this, I want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can't the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I considered it to be an all-important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Stirrings of the Spirit. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name, some of you will, will be set on fire, literally. So that your spiritual life will be hot. So that God will use you and do wonders. Are you ready? Shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One, two, three. Take it. Lord of knowledge. Take it. Gifts of wisdom. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Inside and outside. The gifts of prophecy. Take it. Gifts of tongues. Of tongues, receive it. I set your prayer life on fire. I set your prayer life on fire. Let the spirit of revelation fall. Spirit of revelation, the teaching anointing, leadership anointing. Take it. Take it. Take it. Leadership anointing. Jesus. Leadership anointing. Jesus. Press to fast. Press to pray. Jesus. Press to say no. Result that we enjoy in this house may it be part of your life from today in the name of Jesus hallelujah I release entrepreneurial ideas say potopata there is a spirit listen I take from the abundance of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants. Lift your hands, everybody. In the mighty name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it, take it. Jesus. Hallelujah. May 
May your life be a fruitful life. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. May God bring results to your life. To be a consolation to your Christian work. Any life that has not been experiencing results. That you have never testified. May this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results. May this be your month. Do you believe this? I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside. If you've never given your heart to the Lord, please keep standing everybody. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me. Inside and outside, you are hearing my voice right now. You have seen the works of the Lord. It's time for you to get into a real relationship with God. Or for some of you, you have given your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. But you found yourself derailing. Inside and outside, the Lord is speaking to you. Mother, father, whoever. I want you to leave your seat and come out here right now. I want to lead you and reconnect you back to the king of kings. The lover of your life. Inside and outside. Right now, leave your seat and come. Koinonia, appreciate them as they come. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. They are coming. God bless you. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Outside. Don't let the devil stop you. Mother, father, whoever. Yes. It's time to surrender. Appreciate them. It doesn't matter what your past is. God can give you a new beginning. Don't allow the person you came with to stop you. This is the greatest miracle. Another Jesus. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. They are still coming. The Holy Ghost is convicting them. Inside and outside. Thank you, Jesus. Be reconnected to the maker of your life. I surrender. To Jesus, yeah. On to be my God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. And I surrender. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again and see what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I'd like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I love you and I thank you for dying for my sins. This night, I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord and I accept him. My name is in the book of life. I declare that I'm saved. The Holy Spirit is in me. Eternal life is mine. From today, I denounce sin and Satan and every past life and I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless you brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. The reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth. 
let it be discovered and maximized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that every encumbrance, everything that keeps you in the path that is not of God, you are free from it today. There is grace for you. You will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We celebrate you. Please, I'd like you to follow the ushers. They'll have your details and we'll send you a text and get across to you. Pastor Jakes is not around, but we'll send, we'll make arrangements and I'll be there by God's grace to see you. God bless you. Please, tomorrow, together with them, all those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues, six on the dot, please be at the chapel. I will be there to minister to you. Hallelujah. Six on the dot, be at the chapel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. We're closing. Thank you for waiting this long. All those who are worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we love you and we believe God brought you here to bless you. I'd like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. If this is your first time, please, inside and outside, you are special. We have a prayer for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All those who invited them, I pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping. They are still coming. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Keep clapping until they come. They are special to us. They are the evidence that God is at work in this place. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.